Hello there. Today we have Simon Morris, CEO of Genetic Technologies, which trades on the NASDAQ under the ticker symbol G-E-N-E. -E. Simon, thanks for being with us today. Thanks for having me. Now start by giving us, please, a broad overview of genetic technologies. Specifically, how is your company pioneering the field of precision medicine with its genomics-based test, and what impact do you see this having on the future of healthcare? Yeah, thanks, Craig. Uh our vision at Genetic Technologies is to be the world leader in personalized predictive genomics, empowering individuals to truly take control of their health. We turn cutting edge science into personalized predictive tests using AI and machine learning techniques. A simple, non-invasive saliva-based test can identify an individual's risk of serious disease in the next five years or their lifetime. Our focus is on oncology-based tests, cardiovascular, metabolic diseases like type 2 diabetes, and we have the ability to help improve the health of populations worldwide. Genetic Technologies, as you well know, is operating in a rapidly evolving sector. With your focus on oncology, as well as cardiovascular and metabolic diseases, can you discuss the size of the market opportunity you're addressing and how your innovative products, for example, the gene type tests, meet that unmet need in the space? Yeah, we operate in multi-billion dollar markets in both clinical testing for our gene type brand and consumer genomics for our easy DNA brand. Our focus is on innovation, recently launched comprehensive test for hereditary breast and ovarian cancer, which is truly an unmet net where you look at the hereditary genetic mutation plus the sporadic and the familial history in a custom test for hereditary breast and ovarian cancer. So innovation is absolutely key. Our other focus for both our brands is on new markets. For example, the launch of EasyDNA brand into the UK pharmacy channel in April this year, just coming up around the corner. And looking at other market opportunities where this test has a population-wide relevance in the EU and Southeast Asian markets for opportunities for the GeneType brand both underpinned by strong digital strategies to drive consumer engagement with both of our brands. Simon, your company has shown remarkable progress as evidenced by a record number of gene type tests that have been processed and significant cash receipts in the last quarter. Can you elaborate on your business model and how it supports sustainable growth, especially your digital strategy for consumers and expansion into new markets such as Southeast Asia and the United Kingdom? Yeah, absolutely. We're really excited by the trend of which the gene type brand and the number of tests being returned to our lab is continuing to increase. It's really exciting and encouraging to see more and more physicians get on board. But we can't just stop there. We have the opportunity to continue to push into new markets, as you mentioned, like European Union there. So there are lots of countries that are looking for innovation for early detection of serious disease so they can have a truly positive impact on the health of the populations in their markets. Likewise, in Southeast Asia, but we can't just go into Southeast Asia. There are so many differences and nuances around all of the different countries. So we're looking at those market opportunities there one by one by one and making sure that we get the model right in order to be able to be successful and focus heavy on successful execution. You talked about the digital strategy. That is key as an enabler in all of the markets, in all of the consumer groups that we look at to drive the success of our brands into the future. The recent appointment of experienced commercial advisors and the launch of new tests, Simon, highlight your strategic initiatives, which is to capitalize on that burgeoning consumer personalized health and wellness sector. Could you tell us more about the strengths of your management team and those advisors and how their expertise is guiding genetic technologies towards achieving its goals? Yeah, I mean, the team and the talent within the team are the critical enablers of the success of our organization going forward. Without them, we wouldn't be able to achieve what we've achieved so far or achieve what we plan to in the future. So the, I'll talk specifically about the two new advisors to the board that have joined the team in order to be able to help us 
transform our organization from where we were 20 years ago as an innovation R&D company, now really pushing into heavy commercialization strategies and embarking on that pathway to profitability for our organization over the course of the next 15 to 18 months. We have introduced two new members to the team, uh, Malcolm Baum, who is US-based uh, innovation strategy uh, for direct-to-consumer, consumer-initiated pathways, and specifically building women's health communities. We've also introduced Annabella into the Australian team, uh, and she has a strong history in commercialization of medical devices and drug development in many international regions and really adds a lot of value to our B2B initiatives. And we're very, very excited to have them as part of our team to help build our sort of commercial muscle, if you like, to actually deliver material revenues for the organization going forward. The MRFF grant for your compellingly named cassowary trial is a testament to your commitment to groundbreaking research. Can you share insights into how this trial and your ongoing R&D efforts are set to reshape risk assessment and care standards in general practice? Yeah, I'll, I'll touch on three simple points here. This is absolutely a groundbreaking trial in partnership with the University of Melbourne in Australia. This will reshape the future of cancer detection in general practice with primary care physicians, not only in Australia, but transferable across to markets and origins and health systems across the world. It'll focus on the clinic, it'll focus on more than 800 participants, and the aim is to rewrite the guidelines for early cancer detection. So as you say, it is absolutely groundbreaking and one of the most exciting trials in cancer detection that's ever been undertaken. Simon, genetic technologies has had some significant achievements, such as the precision medicine pilot with Gold Coast Private Hospital and your expansion into global markets, as we have been discussing. Now, what are genetic technologies' key strategies for future growth, and how do you plan to leverage recent successes to further innovate and expand your market presence? Yeah, firstly, I'd love to say that the Gold Coast Private Hospital pilot was one of the most remarkable innovative pilots that we've commenced. We're only halfway through it at the moment, but it's so exciting to see precision medicine, early detection, risk identification introduced into a hospital care system. And we're really excited by that and what that's going to show in the near future. What's really critical to the success of our organization is focus. Focus is critical. Execution is key. A strong digital strategy driving engagement with our brands and our consumers, continuing to identify new market opportunities, particularly in Europe and Southeast Asia, and continuing to innovate the most comprehensive risk assessment tests will make sure that we stay more advanced than any of our competition and be successful as an organization going forward. Now, Simon, give us the essential value proposition, please. Why should investors take an interest in genetic technologies right now? Through a simple, non-invasive, saliva-based test, gene type can identify your individual risk of serious disease even when there's no family history. A population-wide screening tool that will lead to early detection and save lives. It's an incredible time to join as we materialize a number of major commercial initiatives and drive material revenues for the company over the course of the next 12 months. Early detection saves lives and we can improve the health of populations worldwide. Simon, it's always a pleasure to talk to you and get an update on your great company. Thank you very much. Thanks, Craig.